Okay, what I'd like to show you here is the commuter booster. Uh, looks quite simple and small, uh, and it is, I guess. Uh, so this is what mounts your motor to the bike. Uh, we can see here this hole that will uh, clamp onto your seat tube. This is the swing arm, and your motor will uh, bolt on here. Uh, so the main pivot axle is a press fit into the swing arm. Uh, there's a couple of adjustments that you have. Obviously there's two Allen keys to bolt to assemble it onto the bike. There's also a couple of adjustments. Uh, one is this uh, collar here. That adjusts um, when you rotate it relative to the shaft uh, how much uh, spring tension there is on the swing arm. That allows you to adjust for the weight of the motor and counterbalance that. And I'll Describe that more in the installation video. Uh, there's also uh, two small Allen keys um, grub screws. There's one here uh, and there's one under here. These adjust the dead stops for the swing arm. So this pin here uh, is what limits the range of motion of the swing arm. So when we adjust the dead, the dead stop on this side, that adjusts how far the swing arm can um, rotate away from the tire. And the one below here um, adjusts how far up the uh, swing arm can go. That adjusts how far the motor engages into the tyre. So this is what it'll look like if you buy one. Um, you come up with that and some higher quality screws to assemble a motor. Uh, here's a motor. Um, what I've got here is one of the Turnergy AeroDrive SK3 motors. Um, just because I happen to have it on hand, I'm not necessarily recommending this over any other motor. Uh, so we've got four mounting um, screws and, the, and equal spots here. So we essentially line those up, drop the screws in, uh, and screw them in. Now, if this is a permanent installation, I recommend actually using some Loctite on the screw threads to make sure that they don't come undone. Um, otherwise, uh, just make sure they're nice and snug and check them every so often. So once we've got those uh, four in, I'll just make sure that they're um, nice and snug. So now our motor's installed. Uh, there's one more thing to do, and that's essentially uh, the main three phase wires. We just want to collect those and put them nicely out of the way. So I'll also include a releasable cable tie. Uh, essentially, we just put that through this hole, lay down the um, cable ties, the phase wires, sorry, and do that up. So now they're snug out of the way um, and strain relieved essentially um, and then we'll need to connect that up to the AC once it's on the bike. So that's pretty much installed.